Hello and welcome back everyone. Tone here, continuing our current Slice and Dice unfair playthrough, streak on the line, and one of the harder sets of curses I feel like we've had to deal with lately. Uh, we have wolves on every third turn, uh, monster growth, all monster sides have growth. Monsters with six hit points get plus one per six hit points they have to their health. And then all enemies start with plus one shield on turn one. Um, this might be one of the hardest floors of the whole run here um, because the Slime Queen, we've been surviving by, we haven't gone past turn two. We've been just doing burst damage to everyone. Um, this is going to be a long fight, which means a lot of our pain damage tactics with the Berserker and the Cultists and such aren't uh, sustainable over longer fights. Uh, it means we're going to see a wolf for the first time, probably. It means growth might have more time to take effect. Although, this is a long fight with a lot of different enemies, so I don't. hopefully we don't have to see uh, monster growth too much. But yeah, this should be a challenge. We do get a promotion to help us out, though. It's going to be our, our gray, which is the last one here. Uh, oh no, we might get a blue here as well. So maybe I upgrade the cultist to something that doesn't have pain sides, which it will be more sustainable here. We will see. Uh, but before we do get started with that, um, I'd like to remind everyone that if you want to support this channel and my other related work, you can do so over at patreon.com slash tonehack. Feel free to give that a look if you would like to support me and my, uh, my other projects here. But without further ado, uh, let's pick our next hero here. And let's just remind ourselves of Curse Bolt, which could give us plus one to the two right sides, which could be very relevant when picking a hero. Um, Power Stone replaces the left side with a weird little ability um, on our gray. And then I have Wolf Ears to set my max hit points to six, which becomes pretty less relevant when we are we have a party of tier twos. Um, we have, and I love the Caldera. They just never do me wrong. I like both of these classes a lot. Um, Ninja has Copycat, which I think works better with the Caldera here, because they get mana gain and cruel sides on their mana. They're uh, a single use, which is actually fine um, if we get value out of it. I think the Caldera is a pretty easy pick here, although I, I like both of these guys quite a bit. Um, the Caldera has Scald, which is two damage to all enemies, which can be pretty good in this fight in particular. Um, as well as a lot of other ones. I'm, and I like the Caldera here. Um, the Monk is just good, solid defense. They have a lot of health, they have cleanse. This redirect is great. The three shield on it. They have repel, which it helps with damage. It can be AoE. Um, but this feels like a easy Caldera pick for me, just because I like Caldera a lot. This cruel side is just so good, and they do some damage, they generate mana, their spell's good. So Wolf Ears will go on the alloy, it's the only one that does anything to, and it's pretty good on them here. I think Repel's gonna be good for you, especially with the Caldera. So we don't put any of these on anyone, I don't think. I don't think that helps you block enough. All right, let's roll with this. I am uh, nervous. Uh, we have this. I can't imagine us adding extra monsters to this fight. Revert all changes to all sides. I think that one reverts curses, but we don't have any that affect our sides. What other changes do we get? Nothing that like makes any sense. I think this might prevent petrify. I'm not sure. I've never had this, but it's like a it's a really unique effect. It has, I think, a lot of niche little uses. Um but to add a war chief. It's just no way, right? Alright, slime queen time. 
Gosh, that's a nasty <laughs> effect. Um, I think I like this. We want to stay away from the pain sides a bit if we can, just because this is going to be, it's, they're not going to be sustainable here. Um, I like two damage on you. We have repel. I kind of like this with the copycat. Otherwise, we're not really copying anything. Although, there's an argument for me to just roll for 4 damage here. Because this is kind of like 2 damage equivalent, if you want to say a mana is worth 1 damage. How much damage do we have right now? 2, 3, 4, plus the burst is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this would be 10. I would believe it's just shy of this second. Well, they have one armor, so just shy of this second uh, Slimer coming out. And then maybe we could kill the Slime Queen next turn. I want to look for a better shield. I think this damage is pretty good, although I, this is, man, this is a nasty side. I guess this is like one of the worst sides I could do. The five damage flanking is pretty nasty. Um, what are my chances of rolling this on two two rolls? That's such a common thing that I should know by now, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my handy dice probability table to just double check my intuition on that. Um, you can find the table I'm looking at in my description below. There's a link to it, but we have two or it's one target face on two rolls is about a 30 percent chance um so not very likely but there's four faces here we don't mind because you also have to factor in the chance that you stay the same because then there's no penalty to to rolling so four on two rolls is about an 89 percent chance so there's about a 30 percent chance we improve significantly and a 11% chance we miss. And the miss isn't that bad. I think I'm gonna reroll the, the ninja. You know, it's interesting. If I'm rolling the ninja, then rerolling the caldera is pretty interesting too, because can I get the slime queen down to enough health where I can play this to kill it this turn? I'd have to get them down to seven. We have three, four, five, six, seven. Yo, let's do some rerolls. I don't mind these two as well if I'm not copycatting this. Now it gets awkward because I might get copycat and then roll the two mana here, so we could do a little worse, but there's a lot of upside here. I think I'm gonna play into. Okay, we don't roll you again. I think we just keep this. So we did go down one probably. Yeah, it's not worth rolling that again. I think we just roll with this. So I, I wouldn't like net minus one there, I think, because this can't copycat the mana anymore. Do we block four here with the Berserker? Damn, do I want you to summon a Slimer this turn? If that's probably not, right? That's where we're ending up. Hmm. And I have two mana saved here, so you're kind of... So I have to do 10 damage to you next turn. Or I think it's better for me to do 9 damage, but also have a Slimer to deal with. I think we leave it here. This turn's a lot worse than the other one I had. Just considering like this breakpoint and stuff, but... Eh, I'm not really missing 2 damage actually. 
because we're not considering the banked mana. So I have to do, I think this works. This is a lot of damage though. That's nasty. Concerned about the longevity of our fight here. Okay, so here's two damage, five damage, seven damage. Can I get three more from the Caldera and the Ninja? We should be able to. May as well reroll the ally alloy because we're playing for a kill here. But there's our three damage. I think we just take this because we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a kill on the Slime Queen. And then next turn we have to fight a wolf and two Slimers, which is going to be freaking insane, actually. Um, I guess I can reroll this. I don't even know what we're looking for here, because I... Mana gen would have been great, actually. That's what we wanted. Okay. Now, I can get engage to do two damage to the Slimer with this, but then I don't think we kill you, because you have seven. Yeah, so we just... Go for a kill here. This next turn is gonna suck. You keep rolling mana, I really want, we really need you to roll health, but we'll keep this here for now. Um, this side is pretty good, although your repel side is really strong too, especially with Scald. This actually saves you though. Mm, you have a lot of good sides, I guess. Um, repel, cleave, man, yeah, we're gonna reroll you. And three X's, not what I like to see. So you can help kill something, but nothing that I kill actually prevents you from dying if you use this side. Well, it might with this. And Cleave could be very good with Scald and... I think we keep these. So how do I... Playing this leaves you at one health. I think we can kill like this Slimer. We have eight health total. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully the Ninja if they roll something. So you just take one, and then this block saves you. It's a little risky, but I think I'm okay with that. Ooh, four damage, finally. Okay, that's actually huge. Okay, I think if we're using the Berserker, we have to kill this guy. I'm gonna do something like this. Do I play Scald? I can either kill you with a dagger and then burst you and have two mana next turn. Or I can hit you with a dagger and Scald to kill you. And there's three Slimelets, the Slimer and the Wolf. That could be nasty. So we're either looking at I'll just play these out for the sake of uh, the video here. This is probably safer, right, overall? Because either that or we're looking at...
The benefit is that you just have two more damage taken. But it gets riskier with all these slimers, or slimelets. I think we do just play it like that. We have one more mana left. That way we can kind of just manage the slimelets and stuff if we need to. I can save this mana for a bigger squad later, even. Things are getting sketchy over here. Okay, slimelets. Didn't do too bad for us. Okay. Wolf is chomping on the caldera. I don't know if the berserker can actually use this this turn. Can't believe I haven't rolled my cruel side. It's like not even going to be useful anymore. <laughs> Kind of wanted it for the Slime Queen or the Slimers, but... Sacrificing the Berserker with this probably isn't awful. Although, I'm wondering... What do our level 9s look like? I can, I can return to that part of the fight. I'm really curious about this. What do, what do typical level 9s look like? Oh my gosh. These are freaking nasty. So I'd have to walk into one of these with like a half health berserker if I let them die. Actually, you have two other really good sides. I guess you are worth re-rolling here. Because Cleave is kind of awesome here with Scald, and then this thing's pretty epic. Okay, we'll do that. Um, I think we re-roll Ninja for double use. I don't have anything amazing for this side yet. I guess Engage on the Wolf is okay. I would do two damage to you. But I think we re-roll. Uh, well, I'll, I take this. This is really good on you. I wish you rolled this more earlier instead of the mana. I had to take the guaranteed damage on the mana, though. But now at least you can recover some health. How do we save people? Well, the wolf isn't dying, so Caldera's in a bit of trouble. Hopefully I can kill this Slimer. I don't know about the Berserker. Figure this out. I'm going to re-roll these three. Uh, mana gain. This can take mana gain. So I can have six mana this turn. This can hit the slime and I could scald to finish them off. What can I do if I just miss on the Berserker if I don't want to play this? Because I think that depend that decides whether we need we're gonna sacrifice them or not. Because you probably hit this. I guess we'll just play this out and decide whether we want to reroll the Berserker later. Oops. You probably do something like that. Hmm. We're just shy. I'm shy of like two damage. I'd be able to do something really cool. Cause hitting you and then you and then doing like two scalds is pretty sick. the Slimer. I 
What does this feel for next turn? Could be good or bad, depending on the slime. Let's roll. This cleave could be nuts, though. So could this. I think I'm going to reroll the Berserker. Risky as heck. Okay, rewarded. Hella rewarded. In that case, I'd probably do something like this. I think it matters where this goes. Yes. Okay. Hey, you roll this when it really doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> Actually, we probably want mana to scald, but um, this is turn five. So another wolf shows up if I don't kill them this turn. So I do need to kill everything this turn if I can help it. Um, I guess. I can play this if I keep this. Then this kills a slime. If I keep this, then there are three sides here that let me kill the last slime. Or, actually this does it alone. Actually, I want to reroll that too. Wait, no, because I'm, I'm using this to attack. Although cleave here, man, there's a lot of. This is a actually pretty interesting turn, because I could reroll this for one of these two sides. If I get this, then I want to keep this because that just kills them with those. Um, this is just great here, and if I roll either of these, then I can reroll the vampire, which has slime killing sides. Actually, maybe that's better, because the Vampire re reliably rolls a slime killing side. You reliably roll at least one of these again. Yeah, let's just re-roll all of these. Okay, we got what we needed. Ooh, tough fight, but uh, we didn't lose anyone. Okay, bones and snipers with armor, which is annoying with bones. Is probably not going to hurt people under the armor like we would want them to normally. And then the wolf coming. We have kill an enemy with exactly six hit points. Our magic staff set all mana slash mana gain sides to two. It's pretty good on the caldera. It's actually really good on the Caldera. Hex is range that kills an enemy with exactly six hit points. Now, no enemy in our, our run is going to start with six hit points. Because if they do, then they have seven hit points instead. Hex is a little awkward. But it does mean that if something has more than six hit points, we bring them to six, and this is a really efficient way to finish them. These spells, I tend to not use that much, but when I do, I get pretty good value from them. Particularly for like finishing off a boss or something is pretty nice. This probably does work pretty well with some breakpoints for finishing off um, enemies that are getting boosted from this. Like if they have eight health. Um, I don't know, this magic staff on the Caldera is like pretty freaking good. So I think I'm just gonna take that. Because it makes these two pip sides. I feel like this one falls off more later. But we're gonna get more consistent value out of this and it's really good right now. We're still not using this for anything, right? I don't think so. 
Um, I think we definitely want this on this fight. Although you have the lowest health, you and the ninja. So the snipers have eliminate. I took this off, I could force it so eliminate snipers hit this guy. And then this becomes pretty nice, but then I have to actually roll this. If someone else gets attacked first, they might just target someone else. It's kind of niche, I think I'd rather just leave you with this. Um, Alright, let's see how this fight goes. And that did happen just as I was describing <laughs> against the alloy. Um, so this is already mana gain with the shield, so I think we take that. In theory, Scald is really good on this floor, but it's tough with all the bones having shields and the snipers having shields. Honestly, I'd much prefer you having two damage so I could break these shields and do one damage and then get Scald off. I think I will reroll that. We're going to keep this though because that helps me hit Scald reliably. You barely live if I take this, so I think I will. Do I just take this? Can I kill... Can I kill Bones this turn? What are we looking at? I can use this on one, and then they're down to one health. And then if I can do five damage to another one, then I kill two. So do I have five more damage? I have two, three, four, and this would be five. I guess I do just take this, even though these sides are kind of incredible. Or I take the one in six chance to whiff. I don't think I can afford to, so we're gonna take that and you need to not whiff. Okay, that's good enough. Actually, does the alloy just die here? <laughs> I didn't factor that in. So I can't hurt the snipers. I think the alloy is going to die, so I'm going to do this. Uh, it actually doesn't even matter where you put this. That does a little bit. I'm actually going to put it here. So I kill this bones, now this guy takes more damage. Actually, like this will instantly kill this. There, there's, there's a lot of utility to that. What kind of Scald shenanigans do I have here? I can hit this guy and then Scald... I think we need to do this backwards if I want to do some Scald stuff though. the sniper. I don't think there's any protecting this dude. I would have to use burst on them along with this. And honestly, them dying... Well, they're going to get promoted after this floor, I think. I think I'm okay with them dying here. Pretty sure I win. Yeesh. Poor ninja. Um, okay, this is big, big, big. Do we already have? Yes. Okay. Cleric and the guardian. Um, so the guardian has way better sides for the ninja's copycat. Oops sides. In fact, none of the 
clerics do anything. This heal and shield too, I feel like actually is pretty good value a lot of times. It's like net four damage reduction. Cleanse is good. A little bit of extra mana can be good. Um, that helps us hit Scald on turn one much more consistently, which can be a pretty big deal. I just like how this guy combos with the ninja right now, though. And the cleave attack is just good with the the armor that everyone has, and it's good with Scald. I think I go with the Guardian here. Neither of these guys work well with that Death Bolt. What about this thing? I don't put that on either of them. Wait. This could give steel to the ninja. Which isn't that big of a deal. I don't know what the right choice is here, but I'm gonna roll with the guardian for now. And none of these items go on anyone still. This stays here. Be a tough floor. Actually, Scald is pretty good with bones and stuff. I think we're probably fine here, especially with this start. pretty good just to block the guardian for four but let's see what do we do this turn I guess I can lock these in and we can play this out real quick you hit an imp We would play Guardian on this, is uh, on the Berserker first, but we're we're just trialing this real quick. So I think I'm gonna hit the Graves and use Scald this turn. And then I just need to kill the Bones, and then like everything pretty much dies. Or do I save the Scald for next turn when the Bones are already out? Maybe kill the Imp. can't kill both imps, unless I don't attack a grave this turn, which is fine too, probably. I think this works. I'm just going to take this. Just getting like a big scald turn. I have, I have a mana left over, so I probably use scald next turn. If I damage, like, if I can do two damage to each bones and then cast Scald or something, it, it ends up just wiping the board, so. Really strong floor for Caldera here. Um, does this win already, even without Scald? Maybe not quite. Yeah, it does. Cool. Yep, here's one of those common Floor 11s we were looking at earlier when we were evaluating Floor 11 plus snakes. Monster growth, monster HP, armor. 
I just gotta always remind myself of the curses, especially when we have this many small ones. A Banshee, after the first spell each turn, one damage all of our guys. This guy's pretty nasty with the... These guys are nasty in general. Hopefully I can burst this guy down, then figure out what to do with the Wiz. What do we get here? Demon Horn, replace the rightmost side with heal two, boost, and inflict pain. So this gives the target plus two to their sides, but then they take pain equal to those pips. It also heals them. Pretty strong to use that on a lot of people, actually. If I give that to like Guardian, that gives them like a really strong play. Let's go on Ninja, Cleave, Self Heal Vampire, Caldera here. That pain does do a lot of damage back to us when it's like this is like a four side and we're taking four damage from it. Especially when we want probably want the Guardian to use it, but man, that sounds pretty good. This could be a four-time double use. It's really attractive. Eye patch, remove all keywords from the left side. Um, it's actually pretty good here. Just get a reusable three damage side. Although we're usually rolling for mana here, so it's rare that we actually want to play this one twice in a fight, especially with this. So I don't think that's actually good on the Caldera. Um, it becomes a pretty good option if we roll Barbarian or Roulette later. We have left sides with penalties. Um, but even with two good heroes for that to work on, that's a bit speculative. Doesn't synergize with that. Unfortunately, we didn't get a good random option. I don't want two tier threes. I might have rerolled for a f random five. Um, I think I'm taking the demon horn here over the eye patch because I think that can give us some value now. And it gives us some value that lets us clear, again, floors like quickly, which I like. We probably leave the demon horn on guardian. Although it's pretty good on guardian with these two sides if we boost them. We could double down and make it a three demon horn. That's actually not bad. <laughs> that makes it a lot harder to use though. But like a four damage cleave or something looks pretty freaking nuts. I think this is good enough at two. And I'm not even concerned about the curse bolt hurting the guardian. I'm concerned about whoever's trying to use sides with this thing when it's cursed or, or when it's got pain and it's three sides. Although again, first turn, it makes up makes for some like nutty first turns. It does heal when you put it on someone too. Which if they're already hurt, then it it removes some of the pain. Yep, screw it. Let's give it a try. So the Guardian takes one damage every time I cast a spell. I think is okay. I think we actually like the Wiz Summoning Bones here. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Can we kill the Banshee already? Four, eight, nine, ten. Then, yeah, we can. We just deal a whiz, which isn't doing damage. We roll both of these. It's looking for some kind of damage, but I guess I'll take this. Uh, we are going to take one damage to everyone. Oh wait, no, you should block the berserker, of course. So if we kill.
kill both bones, we at least hit their stun pip. This could give me cleave on this, which I think makes us stun the whiz with only killing one bones. So that feels pretty good. Um... I think let's play this out. That works. Oh, I forgot about the freaking wolf. I should have <laughs> every time. I need like a thing that says like like you know what the reinforcements thing is? I need something that says like reinforcements incoming or something next turn because this could have really screwed us because I don't that wasn't my most efficient turn now this wiz is about to summon three bones if I don't kill them this turn um, the wolf has seven health well scald will kill the wiz can I even get mana to do that though Doesn't look like it. What do we have? Four, five, six. I think I re-roll the Caldera here. It's gonna suck if I don't kill the wolf this turn. I think we'll still be fine, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to deal with three more bones. Um, I guess you re-roll this too. Blocking's not gonna do much here. I have to take that now. All right, we got through it. On to the rotten. Uh, this feels like a Decent stopping point here. Um, well, this fight should be pretty fast, so... But we ha <laughs> Very early on, after 2.0 came out, anyone who's been watching me play Slice and Dice that long, we had a very long rotten fight. A very challenging one. Kind of like that big fight I had on our shimmering uh, unfair run last win. And so I always think about like this boss fight, like, man, do we have time to actually embark on it? Um, and I think with... Caldera on these bones and how you really do want this to be a fast fight. We probably do, but I'll leave this one for here for now just in case. I think we should be well prepared for this one. I'm not terribly concerned about it. We might see the wolf. Um, some nasty growth stuff could happen, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. I feel fairly confident about this fight. We get a hero promotion too, our first tier three, which will be intriguing. But yeah, we'll leave this for next time, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you for next guys next time. We'll promote our hero and take on the floor 12 boss fight here. And uh, if you guys would like to, well, I was going to say, uh, check out the links uh, down in my description below. Uh, you can find my slice and dice uh, probability table, which I used earlier. Um, you can find a link to my Patreon if you want to support me in my work. And you can find uh, the Discord community there. You can find my Twitter, all kinds of stuff. So uh, feel free to take a look at those. But I am done with this session for now. And we will continue and pick this up next time where we are leaving off. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see you all next time. Take it easy, everyone.